Hello everyone! Welcome to our new science lesson today. What we're gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about light and sight. My name is Teacher Yumna and I am so glad to be here with you today. Are you ready? Let's get started. What's our new words today? The first word emit light. Emit light. Like send out light, give off light, produce light. Reflect light, give back the light or bounce off light when it fall on the reflected surface like a mirror. Visible, something we can see. Light wave, the way that light used to travel from one place to another. Glow or shine, glow or shine. Okay, where does light come from? Think about it. Come from light pulp, apple, no. Torch, of course, moon, no. Ball, no, and lamp. So, what is the meaning of source of light? Something that gave off, emit, produce its own light. Something gave off, emit, or produce its own light. We call it source of light. Like the sun, fire, candles, electric lamp, and the flashlight. What about the moon and the mirror? No. This object look like thieves. They steal the light from another source. They are objects that don't emit their own light, but they reflect the light falling on them. So, they are not considered as a source of light. Like the moon, reflect light come from the sun. So, how we can see when the source of light emit the light ray that fall an object, the light rays bounce off this object to our eyes to see them. Light bulb send the light or emit light the light fall on the tables and then from the table to my eyes. Light fall on the laptop, from the laptop to my eyes. Okay. From the previous explanation, we conclude that light is a visible form of energy, like we can see it, that travel in the form of waves, in the form of waves. What is the meaning of visible? We can see it. We can see it. Energy? We have the power to see. Give me the power to see. Travel as a light waves. Travel as a light waves. So let's practice. Complete the following. There are many sources of light, such as, mm, think about it. Sun, of course, and fire, candles, torch. Okay, put true or false. The light falling on objects bounce back to reach the eyes so that we can see this object. Mm, of course, true. The moon is considered source of light, so it appears bright at night. No, 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 moon, not source of light. So it's gonna be false. Do you know what is the organ that affected by the light in humans and animals, especially in low light places? Mm, of course, our eyes. Eyes is the organ of sight that is affected by light in humans and animals. Humans need light to see in low light places, but some animals have the ability to see at night. 
they can see better at night than human, like fishing cat and tarsier monkey. Ready? Yes. Why? Because they have something special in their eyes, able them to see at night. How animals see at night? Some animals, such as deer, horses, cats, and dog, have a feature that's related to the sense of sight called tabidum lucidum. What is the meaning of tabidum lucidum? Tabidum lucidum is a thin, reflected layer at the back of some animal's eyes, like fishing cat eyes. And it's a Latin word mean bright carpet. It's a life-saving structural adaptation, helps some animal to hunt at night and avoid becoming haunted at night. It can be a predator and avoid becoming a prey at the same time. How does it work? When the light enters the eyes of such animals and falls on the tabidum lucidum, it bounces back like a mirror. So the light that the eyes don't detect it at the first time get a second chance to detect it at the second time. That's make the eyes of such animals get more light and look shiny and glowing at night. Today I learned it. Light is the visible form of energy travel in the form of waves. The eye is the organ of sight that's affected by light in animals and the human. Humans need light in the low light places to see clearly. Some animals can see better than human in the dark, such as fishing cat and tarsier monkey. Why? Because they have tabidum lucidum which is a thin layer in the back of their eyes, reflect the light. And its structural adaptation helps some animal to hunt at night and avoid becoming hunted. That's for all today. Thank you for listening. See you next video, inshallah. Bye-bye.